Hi everybody, this is a slightly different video. I thought I'd narrate it. I thought I'd make a video about the Enco Unimat lathe, that is the SL model that I use, because I've seen many many comments on my channel about this lathe and it appears that people are very interested in it but know very little about it. Manufactured in Austria, this lathe is over 45 years old. This lathe has a belt and pulley gearing system to drive the headstock spindle. I use polyurethane belts. They are easy to obtain and they can be joined fairly easily. There are a number of YouTube videos which explain how to join polyurethane belts. It's the original rubber belt that came with the lathe. These are useless. You'd have to get rid of them. I find I make use of only two different belt settings to attain two different speeds for m almost all of the turning that I do. But the lathe is capable of nine different turning speeds with different belt settings. Yeah, you can see that the tip of the lathe tool is far too high in relation to the live center tip. By loosening this bolt on the tool post, I'm now able to adjust the height of the tool post and it's a fine adjustment with this knurled knob on the top of the tool post and it gives me a very accurate way of aligning the tip with the tip of the live center. This lathe has a 90 watt output motor, which is fairly small, but you can still machine copper, brass, cast iron, steel with complete accuracy. You just need patience and you need to keep the lathe tools very sharp. This is the Unimat 3 jaw self centering chuck, which is attached to the headstock. <laughs> The chuck jaws can be reversed to hold larger diameter work. This is the Unimat 4 jaw chuck to hold irregular shaped work. The chuck jaws can also be reversed. This is called the intermediate piece. It's used to raise the headstock position to increase the swing of the lathe. There's also an adapter which goes on the tool post which raises the center line to the same height. This allows much larger diameter work to be turned. This is the Unimat Connor Chuck, which is very, very accurate. It can hold very small diameter work, as small as half a millimeter. can be changed to the drill press and vertical milling configuration by using this vertical steel column with the clamp. The motor and gear system and the headstock is clamped to the top of the vertical column. This is the face plate which I'm attaching to the headstock. This is the milling table which I'm bolting to the cross slide. 
using a square to make sure that the milling table is square to the cross line. The milling table can be moved in the X and Y axis by using the hand wheels. This is the Unimat indexing and dividing head attachment and it can be bolted to the milling table and there are various index plates which can be used interchangeably with this head to give different division. This is the Unimat machine vise which can be bolted to the cross slide or the milling table. It has accurately ground V grooves to center cylindrical work. This is the live center which can be used on the tailstock. Here yeah, the Unimat has been set in the vertical drilling and milling configuration and this pinion lever on the headstock can be locked with these bolts at the bottom of the lever to allow milling in the uh, Y axis. Here I'm milling a groove all the way around the cylinder using the three jaw chuck attached to the index head to accurately position the groove on the cylinder. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed this video about the Emco Unimat SL lathe, an amazing little machine.